January the 11th in Victoria and look what's happening here <laughs> you can't really see the flakes too much I don't think but uh, it's just starting to snow it's just starting to snow I are these fluffy little flakes I mean capture them here it's not even doing anything but Arctic Air has arrived bringing a few flurries here uh, just we'll find out uh, if it really accumulates but this is the start of the Arctic blast that's hitting the whole BC uh, area and uh, of Canada and uh, well, we're on the uh, south coast and normally we don't get a lot of the Arctic blast here so it's pretty rare uh, it's gonna get really really chilly tonight down to minus uh, 10, 11, uh, and then we're going to get the uh, tick out flow winds on top of that. So, yeah, it's going to make it really chilly. Definitely, how it feels on the skin will make it feel a lot colder, eh? So, uh, yeah, some say minus 20, 21. I don't think it's going to get to that out here, maybe minus 17, but I could be wrong. I guess we'll see what happens. Snowflakes are now starting to come down a little bit more. Look at an interesting tree here that we got here, folks. Look, have you ever seen a tree like this? Like, wow, a hey, good Christmas tree. Season's greetings. Mother Nature has arrived with snow, but it's come a little late. It's not in the uh, festive season. It's now past, but hey, yeah, that's okay. Uh, the snow has arrived. As long as uh, you don't get snowed under, uh, not yet. Uh, I mean, it's only the beginning of the uh, Arctic outflow so who knows what's going to happen some of the forecasters are indicating that we most likely won't uh, get any major accumulations and i don't really think that's going to happen here either uh, maybe a couple centimeters uh, however as the temperature drops i mean i wouldn't be surprised if it accumulated for maybe five more centimeters or so um, overnight and this is for victoria now we're the most southern part of Vancouver Island, as you can go. And uh, you go further north, you're going through the, the Malahat, up to, uh, up toward Nanaimo, uh, well, first Duncan, uh, Cowichan Valley, and all those areas that uh, are in between, and then out to Nanaimo. Um, Nanaimo could potentially get some uh, snow effect uh, off the uh, Strait of Georgia uh, snow, so it can accumulate rapid, uh, rapidly accumulating snow. Yeah. yeah. The bus is dropping uh, some people off there. They look pretty cold. Oh, pretty pretty chilly today. As the temperature will drop overnight, um, they say the, uh, it's going to get mighty mighty chilly here. I see uh, it's starting to stick a little bit on the ground here. A little bit. Winds are blowing 30 kilometers an hour, gusting to 45. Right now we're kind of buffered uh, with the housing around here, but the the angle of the wind, as soon as we make our way toward the road that's just further up here, we're going to get the actual direct gust of the wind. Cold when that wind blows. Oh yeah, it, it, well, yeah it's the, definitely the gust of the wind, right? It, it definitely will... Uh, affect um, what the temperature actually feels like. And it's supposed to dip down uh, Sonia tonight. It's supposed to really get down in Victoria, uh, down to, uh, I, last time I checked, like nine degrees, 10 degrees, like minus, right? And that's that's without how the actual, uh, the force of the uh, Arctic air, actually how it feels on you. Um, yeah, like I've been reading uh, about that and hearing about it on the news, and that's what they were saying, like the actual how it feels on the skin, right? It, a lot colder. Uh, minus 17. <laughs> yeah, that is cold. That is. I mean, and but of course, other areas of BC up north. I mean, you're talking minus 40, minus 50 with that, with that or wind chill. Ah, uh, you know, people just need to be inside. Need to be inside. Stay warm. Your communities need to get people inside. As the temperatures drop, I mean now the temp now it's the temperature is not far below zero. Uh, this because the system is just making its way in here. 
It's actually a little bit uh, ahead of schedule. Uh, originally, it was supposed to be arriving around four o'clock. So, um, yeah, it's a little Mother Nature decided to get a head start, I guess, and start pumping through the Arctic air slowly. Yeah, I see. I see you've got some snowflakes on the back of you here, Sonia. Here, look at that. Hey, it's just just starting to form here a little bit. It's not the fluffy. It's not the sticky snow. It's not the sticky snow. No, no. No, no snowman snow. No, no. no. Do you want to build a snowman? It doesn't have to be a snowman. I know, but don't worry. It's still early in the winter season. There might be, snow. there might still be an opportunity for more snow to fall. Definitely. Yeah. Oh yes. Frosty the snowman will make an appearance again. This season, uh, you know, this is the first snowfall. Today's January the 11th, for uh, 2024, and the first uh, few snowflakes coming down. I know other areas of the Canada, you know, they'll look at it here and say, oh, you guys are wimps. You guys are wimps out here in Southern BC, other Southern BC. Well, for us, this is very unusual, like very, very unusual. We don't normally get snow in Victoria. Now, if we're talking the Fraser Valley, Oh yeah, yeah, you can get more snow out in the Fraser Valley for sure. But in comparison, you know, Sonia, remember last year, uh, last winter season, we had a lot of snow that came down in Victoria, that which is extremely, extremely uh, rare. I mean, but of course, you know, you think back of, you know, uh, of the uh, snowfall of 96. Now that was, uh, I, I wasn't living here then. But I remember out in the Fraser Valley, we had a real doozy one out there, but Victoria got hammered really bad too. So, um, yeah, I mean, everything came to a grinding halt, right? Yeah, definitely um, a lot of snow. But I also remember some other uh, big snowfall events too that were uh, in a place, um, even after 96, there was other comparable years that had a lot of snow that came down. That was the great snowfall. <laughs> yeah, I remember there was no bus service, everything uh, was just completely shut down. Yeah, had to dig, dig my way through. Snowflakes are starting to get a little bit bigger than they were earlier. Definitely the wind is uh, pretty, uh, pretty gusty at times here. It actually even blew the, uh, <laughs> blew the cyanide off of Shoppers Drug Mart there. That was uh, when we had our vicious windstorm a couple of days ago. Today is January the 11th. But when we had uh, the fierce gusts there, it uh, blew the sign right out. It is definitely snowing a lot more now than it was earlier. It's now minus 3 and it feels like minus 10. Winds are east-southeast, 26 gusting to 42. And snow is now sticking a lot more than it was earlier for sure. It's January the 11th, 2024. The winds are blowing at uh, 24 kilometers an hour, gusting to 38. It's uh, minus six out right now. Uh, feels like minus 14. And with the uh, with the Arctic outflow, it's supposed to get down to minus 21 tonight, and the temperature uh, minus 12 in Victoria, British Columbia. Bundle up if you can, and uh, try and stay warm. It's mighty cold out here in Victoria. Today is uh, January the 12th. It's 11, 11 a.m. It's uh, minus nine right now. With the wind chill, it makes it feel like minus 18. I tell you, that wind is pretty brisk. So if you're out in a boat, bundle up, stay warm. I'm heading in now. It's, uh, it's too cold out here. Yeah, definitely. I just check in to see what the temperature is and wow. It's uh, definitely a cold one. At least the sun is out. It's actually uh, nice to see the sun. Brightens up the day. 